Okay, we're going to start a new project today. We're doing a painting, and before we paint, we drew our pictures on the canvas with what? Chalk. Yep, and if you made a mistake with the chalk, what could you do? A napkin, and then you could put water on it, and it magically disappears. Do not use your hand. No, because that'll smear it. So, so I wanted to show you guys really quick. Um, this has been hanging up in the studio since... January, so this is um, a combination of this project and emphasis project, but this was all done with chalk. So I painted the canvas gold. It's a metallic gold, so when light hits it, it shimmers. And then I drew all the figures and with chalk, and then I would paint them in, and then I did the background, the navy, and then when I was done, everything that's gold was the chalk, and I wiped it off when I was done. So that's how you can do something like this and get those curvy lines and have control of your letters. You just write line with, you just write letters like normal and then make them thicker and then you have like um, block letters. So I asked the kids, I asked the kids, Archer and Birdie, to both draw a picture for me. Um, so they're gonna draw the picture and then I'm gonna paint it and we're gonna hang it in the living room on the wall. And I gave her. So this is Birdie's drawing. And this is your drawing. That's your drawing, but I'm going to paint it. Mm -hmm. Birdie likes to draw animals. And then Archer drew jets. I really wanted him to do a C-130, but he didn't think the canvas was big enough, so he picked these jets. And then he did three because one's Archer, one's Birdie, and one's Mason. So I'm going to paint this. And then Birdie, show him your picture. What are you painting? I'm painting a singing unicorn. Singing unicorn. And we're not we're not going to paint over the chalk. We're gonna go right up next to it. We're not going to paint over it. We're gonna leave it until the end because we're gonna do something with it at the end. My plan for um, the pictures is I'm going to choose one color for emphasis, and everything else is gonna be neutrals. Birdie can do that too, or if she just wants to paint it, that's fine. One color for emphasis. So. And everything else will be neutrals. Do you want to say anything else? Yes, I am a robot girl, bot guy. We'll see you in our next video. So I brought Archer in to ask him what he thought about the jet paint, jet painting, and I didn't realize that there were other colors on the jets than silver. So I'm going to flip it around and Archer's going to tell us about this jet. Oh, what kind of jets are these? They're F-16 Fighting Falcons. Okay, and what color are they supposed to be? They can be a big variety of colors from silver with white noses or mostly any color of noses and they could also be white with red blue um like the u.s american um air force symbol mm -hmm. with blue or red noses and sometimes they can be desert storm camo with white noses they can be all sorts of colors Okay, so because I did mine silver because our project is supposed to be using one color and I, my color for this picture was blue. So I can paint my nose white on these. Would that work? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying it, you can either paint the whole thing white or you can paint the nose red or green. or. So the silver ones, what color are the ones with silver? What color are their noses? They're from 
green, blue, red. Noses? White. White? <laughs> so I could do silver with a white nose? Oh, uh, yes. So you want the white jets? Yes, with red nose and blue noses. What do you think of the final product? I love it. Do you? Yes, it's better than the silver. Silver on silver? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to get it wet and then I'm going to uh, rub off the chalk. I'm going to see what it looks rub like. rub off the paint? Not the paint, it'll rub off the chalk. Can I do it? Yeah. Yay! Okay, go. turns out black. Yeah, because that's the black canvas. Get the wing. That look cool. Don't push too hard. You don't need to push too hard. It's just chalk. And then if you need to take your paper and open it up and roll it again, see how the chalk's getting kind of cloudy? So, hang on. So if you pick a different spot and ball it up and then rub don't rub too hard because you'll reactivate the paint. Okay. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Wait, I don't like it. It's not good. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, we'll hang on the wall. Go. Wait, no. Okay, get closer so they can see it. Bubba, don't push play. Are you close enough to it? Yes. Is it going in fast motion? No. Can they hear us? Yes. This is good. Can you don't eat that? No. Just. <laughs> Nathan, don't do that to the rug. It'll stay, see how it stays up? Somebody will trip over it. Yeah, come look at my painting. <clears throat> Where's that?